Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to dive into an exciting topic in Fast API, learning the async context managers and the lifespan events or the functions. So uh, context managers as most of you would be knowing are so helpful in Python and the async context managers takes that to a next level. So for those of you who are not aware of the context managers, let's just take a simple example like we want to open this example.txt file so I'll use this with open function and give it example.txt as file so now this with keyword lets me create a context so now this file object has all the content of this example.txt and now I'm inside that context now I'm inside that context so uh, suppose I want to read the content of it file.read and let's just print it and as soon as I come out of this with block this is outside my context and now when I'm outside this uh, context now Python will itself take care to automatically close the file and ensuring a proper cleanup so that is the main use case of this uh, context managers now let's just, just run it so if you can see it has printed hey welcome to my youtube channel as this so uh, what is actually async context managers and how it is useful in our uh, fast api and how it is related to our lifespan events uh, so before that let's just go to the lifespan events in our fast api official documentation so lifespan events are actually uh, the script or the piece of code that should be executed before the application startup or the shutdown. Those are the events or methods that are known as lifespan events. Suppose, uh, let's just take an example. This will make the lifespan events as well as the async context manager clear to you. Uh, suppose, uh, we'll take the same example they've given suppose you are creating a ml model or you have already created an ml model and now someone wants to view it or get some result of their input and that ml model takes a lot of time to like load up so you don't want that ml mo model should load up every time a request comes you want you want that uh, model should be already there at the first request as the app starts and it should be able to serve all the requests so here uh, is what the async context manager comes into picture and the lifespan events comes into picture. Uh, so let's just uh, code it out and just see how it works. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go to, we'll create a fast API app, okay. And from context lib I'll import async context manager. Now suppose I have two tasks load up data into db as the app starts so it's a app startup process that we want to do suppose i create a function or let's create an async function async df uh, load data so what this will do is suppose there is some series of steps we'll avoid that loaded data into db fine now suppose I also want to do is load the ML model fine uh, so as stated in the example itself uh, what this will do is my model and this will take uh, suppose a float and this will simply return me the x into 2 that's it now on the shutdown I also want the data to be cleared from the DB so this is a shutdown lifespan event clear db so what I'll do is I sync df clear db and print clear db yeah so uh, this is all but now I want that as soon as my app starts I want these lifespan events to be within my app so we'll create a context of it now one way as I've showed you of creating context manager is using with the other way is using the annotation async context manager or wrapping this function around with this wrapper function or this decorator 
now I have my function lifespan and this will take a app fast API app of course and now uh, we'll write the startup events first okay so what I want to do is await load data right now I also want to do is load my model now suppose I want to load my model in suppose I have a dictionary and my model now I loaded this model into my dictionary and this will be a wait okay oh no that is just a function okay fine now I'll do the yield now for those of you who are unaware what this keyword is uh, it's simply like a return statement but instead of returning a value it returns the generator object uh, let's take this example just to explain you the yield now suppose this is my generator function which is going to return 1 2 and 3 so what this if I'll directly write return then this function will just return 1 and this won't be printed right so what I'll do I'll just do yield 1 so this function now will return a generator I've taken that generator object so you can see generator into the gen and we can simply loop over it or we can use this next function to get the grab the values so if I just run it out you can see returning 1 1 and if I just do comment out these two now you can see it just returned me 1 because I've only asked it once right so yield in our case what it will do is before the yield the part that is before the yield that will be our startup startup functions will be written here and after the yield that is these will be the cleanup functions or the shutdown events and after the shutdown what I want is my ML models to be cleared right and my data to be cleared from the DB as well so clear DB right now let's just create our fast API app um, fast API and we need to give in the lifespan method as well okay now let's just create a, uh, a route for it just for the testing part app dot get slash predict DEF uh, DEF predict and we are going to take a float inside that and result is going to be our ML models my model and this will just call this function my model and this will also await and we'll simply return our result like that so now you see when this app runs this lifespan will be loaded and before the yield only this part will be loaded first and when this app closes or shuts down shutdown events will come into place uh, so let's just uh, try and run this out ubcon app app reload okay so you can see as the app uh, starts before even hitting any API our lifespan events have started await load data loaded data into DB now ML models would have got this function as well now let's just uh, go to our URL not found exactly we haven't made the URL for that let's go to the swagger and go to the prediction let's just give two result is four let's just give three result is six okay that's uh, pretty much what we wanted and this is actually for uh, like if your model takes a lot of time a lot of time to load up so as soon as the app starts even before starting before the application start up your DB should be loaded with data and ML model should also be loaded and now as soon as I close the app you can see clear DB before the application shutdown is complete so this is what our uh, whole async context manager is lifespan events are so if you have any doubts you can just let me know in the comments thank you